Hello and welcome to From No Crypto to No Crypto. This is Blockchain Wayne bringing you a cryptocurrency podcast. Today's podcast is brought to us by CoinCierge Club, mobile private key wallet and point of sale solution. CoinCierge Club makes purchasing easy, safe, and overall process more efficient while costing less, helping to make cryptocurrency mainstream. So let's take a look at the market today. Fireworks are finally happening. what the fireworks are so bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the last hour after two days of sideways trading have finally jumped up about seven over seven percent touching sixty nine hundred dollars uh hovering right now right around sixty eight hundred dollars so a lot of great movements the last two days have been very boring a lot of sideways movement not a whole lot to talk about but this is this is great news great to see Will it hold? We'll, we'll, we'll only see, you know, we'll see what happens, but let's just be excited about what's going on right now with cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. All right, so moving along, let's crack a beer and look at what's in the news today for cryptocurrency. All right, so a working group led by cryptocurrency exchange Gemini are going to hold their first meeting in September to discuss forming a self-regulatory organization to oversee you know US crypto trading market so it's announced on Monday uh, the virtual commodity association includes participation from four cryptocurrency exchanges that serve US customers Gemini Bitstamp Bittrex and Bitflyer curious to see we don't see Coinbase and even though Binance is a foreign exchange many people in the US use Binance so we'll see what happens with this with this group with this firm it's very early on but I'm excited to see what can happen uh, this is good news for cryptocurrency as self-regulation is going to be much better than the regulation that governments will try to impose from, you know, coming from governments that don't really understand the challenges or what needs to happen in the cryptocurrency space. So this is really, really good news as well. Oh, yeah. All right. Next oh. up. So Venezuela, inflation in Venezuela tops 100,000%. Bitcoin now costs 60 million Bolivar. The Bolivar traded unofficially around 6.7 million. Um, the Bolivar traded 6.7 million per one US dollar on August 17th and then suddenly depreciated rapidly to 9.2 million. So yesterday, one Bitcoin was worth 44 billion Bolivars and now it's at 59 billion, almost 60 billion. Uh, and when you look at what's going on there, that is a perfect example of why cryptocurrency is so important because a government issued currency, when it doesn't have backing and doesn't have the trust of the people, you're going to see either mass printing uh, values drop to where you, you can be a millionaire in Venezuela and not be able to buy a cup of coffee because the currency has no value. Cryptocurrency prevents a lot of that fraud, counterfeit, excess printing, anything that would drive, you know, the price down like that. That is what, the main purpose of cryptocurrency is when, when fiat or you know government issued cur currencies collapse, cryptocurrency is there because as we mentioned in a podcast a couple of days ago, as the as Venezuela saw this happen, we saw you know the the amount of trading of Bitcoin in that country shoot through the roof. And same thing happened in Turkey not too long ago as well, just a couple of days ago. Uh, so data from app research firm Sensor Tower has revealed that downloads of Square's Cash App has surpassed that of its rival called Venmo, which is a PayPal-owned app, and this is per Bloomberg report. So Square Cash App now has a cumulative total download of 33.5 million, which exceeds 32.9 million that Venmo has. After a successful July, it grew three times faster than Venmo. Both companies made their peer-to-peer -peer platforms a priority, introducing new features. If you remember right, uh, if you remember right, Square has also added Bitcoin trading on their app to where you can buy and sell Bitcoin from your Square Cash app. So that, that, is, that is also, you know, with the hype and every, everybody looking at Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, that is attracting new users to the Square Cash app. I myself personally, not too long ago, I've been using the Venmo app, downloaded the Square's Cash app just to take a look, and it looks like uh, I'll be using that for any future any future needs so moving along cryptocurrency wallet blockchain is adding up to 50,000 users a day amidst the ongoing crypto market downturn now 
blockchain CEO and co-founder Peter Smith tweeted claiming that that they were still adding 50,000 users a day. Uh, it appears to be many people are taking this as a shot at Coinbase. As you know, Coinbase a few days ago in the news was talking about how at the peak last year, when cryptocurrency was at its peak, they were seeing 50,000 new accounts joining every day. Blockchain fired back saying, we are still adding up to 50,000 users per day, even with the current crypto downturn where the market is, has been in a down cycle since January. So that, that's in the news today. If you're, if you're not familiar with the blockchain wallet, it's very simple, easy to use wallet. Uh, I, I personally use that one for some of my holdings. Uh, it's, it's a great app. You should try and check it out. There is an app on both iTunes, or should I say the Apple App Store, and on Google Play. So next up, Bakt, B-A-K-K-T. Bakt is, the, is a crypto trading platform. It's a company that was started by ICE, the International Exchange, which is a company that owns the New York Stock Exchange. So they introduced back a digital assets platform. The CEO is stating that, that they won't support margin trading. He set out to explain some of the services they will offer consumers. And he outlined, you know, buy, sell, trade are all going to be available. But margin trading means you won't be able to short or long. Uh, it's going to be your basic trading, uh, trying to eliminate some of that manipulation, just your basic buy, sell, and trade on their, on their platform. Next up in the news, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak. So Steve Wozniak has announced that he plans to get involved in a blockchain project and what is a first for him. So a statement was made yesterday on Chain Exchange Blockchain Conference. And you know, at the conference, it was held in Vegas, Wozniak revealed in an interview that he plans to participate in a blockchain startup praising the benefits of the technology. He said, quote, I'm involved with very soon my first time being involved in a blockchain company. Our approach is not like a new currency or something phony when, where an event will make it go up in value. It's a share of stock in a company. The company is doing investments by investors with huge track records and good investments in things like apartment buildings in Dubai. And that was quoted by Apple co-founder. So he explained his fascination with the blockchain technology. It is so independent, he said with an exclamation point. It's kind of like the internet when it was brand new. I was amazed at the technology behind it. I've encountered people working in real estate avenues, types of Uber systems, everything we've got in our life, especially involving transactions. Every single one you hear about to me has value. A few people can see the value, which reminds me very much of the early internet days. If you remember, there was a lot of skeptics on the internet saying it would never catch on. Steve Wozniak, who was a visionary with Steve Jobs, you know, co-founding Apple, is now feeling you know, having some of these same feelings when he looks at blockchain technology. Great news for blockchain technology here. So next up, words of warning. So the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, is attempting to combat a Bitcoin blackmail scam by offering consumers advice through its website. So in a bulletin posted on August 21st, the FTC posted a sample quote from a typical BTC blackmail scam. And in quotes, it says, I know about the secret you are keeping from your wife and everyone else. You can ignore this letter or pay me $8,600 confidentially, confidentiality fee in Bitcoin. So watch out. All right. So notably, the sample doesn't specify the nature of the secret, which is a common tactic employed by scammers who use sweeping generalization in hopes that someone's guilty conscience will get the better of them cause them to panic and pay up. Unaware that the scammer has just sent out hundreds or even thousands of that same email to everyone. So be aware that's a scam that's, that's out there. Um, my advice would be just be on an up and up. Don't, you know, be in a position to where if you get that email, you know it's a scam because there's no way it could be true. All right, let's move along and look at some crypto education for today. But before we dive into crypto education, I want to talk a little bit about scams. So alleged India BitConnect head, Devesh Darji was arrested this week at an airport in Delhi as he arrived from Dubai. He and conspirators are accused of bilking millions of dollars from Indian investors seeking to find financial refuge during the government's demonetization campaign. So BitConnect, you know, it, it, this, this is bigger than just India. BitConnect as a company has scammed, you know, millions and safe to say probably hundreds of millions from people all over the world that were looking for huge returns and felt that it was a legitimate company, 
but I'm going to talk a little bit about what BitConnect is. And also there's some other scams to be aware of. So there's also scams that are using celebrity images. That's on the rise. Celebrity images and posh addresses are being used to convince consumers to invest in cryptocurrency. And this is coming from a British watchdog community. So they want to, they see, they're seeing an increased number of reports about investment scams claiming to offer high returns, noting that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum aren't regulated in Britain. So those tricks are unlikely to get their money back. Now here's, here's the catch, right? So if someone messages you on Facebook, I'm seeing this every day now saying, oh, do you want to join my mining? Do you want to join in my binary options? Whatever it is, and they want you to invest, say, $300, $500, $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, saying that you're going to earn two to $3,000 a day. Now, that sounds extreme because those types of returns are not possible in a traditional market, but they're, they're hoping to hit some of the facts. People are looking for a big payday, taking a chance, but it is a scam. So be aware, big payouts. BitConnect's biggest thing was they, it was a quote unquote lending platform where supposedly you would lending them money in your Bitcoin and they were paying you back in the BitConnect cryptocurrency. And then you were able to go on exchanges and sell that BitConnect cryptocurrency. And that's how you were paid back in BitConnect cryptocurrency. When the scam was at its peak, they pulled an exit scam, closed down the lending platform. And that day we saw the BitConnect coin drop all the way from you know, over $300 down to $20. And now as of this broadcast, it is trading for less than a dollar. And actually it's only on, still traded on one exchange and it's going to be delisted from that exchange on September 10th. So needless to say, this is a worthless cryptocurrency that was at the center of a huge scam called BitConnect. So just be aware, any, any programs that promise you a set amount of money back, a set percentage, they're going to guarantee you that back. That is impossible. You can't guarantee amounts from trading. You definitely can't guarantee amounts from mining because those vary every day. So any, any program that's going to offer you the chance to earn these, these money, these amounts that sound too good to be true in many cases are. So avoid the scams when in doubt, do some research, check some forums. Uh, you know, I, I've seen so many different scams out there, but they seem to just recycle where people are trying and they're, they're preying on new people. So educate yourself on what's out there. When in doubt, you know, at, find someone that's very in the know in cryptocurrency and find out what they may know about a company. Cause in a lot of cases, most of these companies are not legit. Your best way to earn income in cryptocurrency is either to invest in your own mining or to learn the skills needed to become a trader yourself. Now, whether you swing trade occasionally based on market swings, or you decide to day trade, there's a lot of resources out there to teach you as well. So that is it for our cryptocurrency podcast for today. All the news we talked about today is posted on our Facebook page in the same name as this podcast, From No Crypto to No Crypto. And also, if you're looking to learn some of the basics, what we talked about, anything from how to be aware of what, what types of scams, what exchanges to use, where to get your resources, and really who to follow on, social, on the different social media platforms, in cryptocurrency, all of that is provided in a, in a book that I have on Amazon. It's under the same name as this podcast, From No Crypto to No Crypto. It's a beginner's guide to cryptocurrency, a short 40-page read that gives you just the basics of what you need to get started in cryptocurrency, or maybe you've been in for a little while and you're looking for some better resources. That is the combination of a couple of years of research and personal experience in the cryptocurrency market, buying, selling, and trading. So with that, Thank you for listening to our podcast today and we'll see you on the next episode.